What would be your preference, Scott? I mean, come the start of the school year here, uh, what kind of things are you thinking about? Are you harboring any anxieties? I mean, what what would your preference be? Um, I, I, I have a list of questions that I'd like at least some preliminary information on before I could say I'm wholeheartedly behind returning to the building. I think we should, or I think we should uh, do virtual uh, education, distance learning like we did in the spring. Um, and with, with those pieces of information, I'd have a better picture of what it means for students to go back and staff to go back. I, I think people need to understand that, that teachers went to school to be in the classroom having face-to-face -face instruction with their students. That's what we want to do. Uh, but it's got to be done safely and precautions have to be put into place in order for our staff to remain healthy and our students to remain healthy. And not that you're a spokesperson for everyone in your district, your fellow colleagues, but I mean, do you have a sense of where they're at? Are they probably a similar perspective as you just expressed? I, th I think there, I think some teachers want some answers to questions. For instance, are masks going to be mandated in our buildings? Washington County is a sanctuary county. So um, uh, a mask mandate put into place by Governor Evers may not be enforced in Washington County. So how will that play out in, in a, uh, a building? What about social distancing? In, at the high school, we have two high schools in one building with approximately 2,200 students. So will all students be in the building at the same time? And if they are, how will social distancing work and be enforced? Uh, if masks are mandated, how will a uh, mask mandated uh, policy be enforced? What happens when a student um, is COVID positive? What happens when a faculty member is COVID positive? Will there be initial testing of staff and students? Will there be regular testing of staff and students? Um, just all kinds of questions that I trust uh, our superintendent and our board will have asked, looked at, and, and thought of all, all angles. I don't envy their job. <laughs> this is, uh, again, this is a once in a lifetime, I hope, uh, situation that everyone is in. And I think our superintendent who is new um, and our board know that they have some tough questions to answer and difficult decisions to make. And I don't think you're gonna please everybody. Um, and, yeah, it, it, for my colleagues, I, I think that their opinions run the gamut. Let's go back to school. Let's get it done. Let's get it over with to, you know, um, I'm close to retirement age. I have elderly parents. Will this, will returning to in-face or face-to-face -face instruction mean that I can't see my parents? Um, what, what do you do? What do you do as a parent of elementary school children who are in a different district who are going to be adopting a different way of instruction than West Bend? I mean, there, there are just so many pieces to this huge puzzle that yeah. um, I, I, I'm glad I don't have to make those decisions. I mean, it seems an almost impossible task. Um, and the other challenge right now is that School starts in a month, a month and a half. I mean, you just rattled off a ton of questions um, and you got 30 to 50 days to figure it out. Right. And I, th I, think, I think when school ended, I think administrators and boards around the state knew that they had better be thinking about what the fall is going to look like. Um, you know, we, we, we have seen record numbers of positive cases in Wisconsin over the last several weeks. The, the number of COVID positive cases coming back from testing is going up and the, the number of tests administered is, is increasing. 
Um, so there had to be some forethought as we ended the school year, what's the fall going to look like? Uh, and, and I would imagine that for most boards and district administrators, they've spent the majority of their summer trying to put a plan together, looking at other plans, um, seeing what other districts are doing and whether the plans from similar sized districts would be uh, feasible for West Bend. And what about parents? I mean, again, you're not a spokesperson for parents. You don't check in with all of them. But do you have a sense of how the community there of parents at the West Bend School District, how I, they're feeling? I don't. Um, I, I would imagine there are parents who really want their students back in the classroom, especially elementary school parents, because that direct instruction, the face-to-face -face, uh, is really important early on in the educational development of a child. Uh, I would imagine there are parents who are probably thinking to themselves, I don't want my child exposed to someone who is COVID positive, whether it be a staff member or uh, another student. So I would imagine they, their, their viewpoints probably run the gamut just like West Bend staff. Thanks again. I appreciate your time, sir, and um, best of luck to you. Thanks. Stay safe.